What's up guys, JV2017 here, and today we are returning to my character build series with Captain America, the iconic Marvel superhero. In honor of the new Civil War movie that just came out, I thought it would be awesome to create a Steve Rogers Captain America build and share it with you all. I do want to point out that I am not an authority on comic book character abilities, and most of my immediate knowledge comes from the new movies. However, I have done some more research and asked for advice from my friends with more comic book knowledge, so I've gained some more insight on how this character should be built. It seems to me like Captain America should ideally have tens in strength, endurance, intelligence, and agility, but that's just not possible with a 30-point build from the beginning, so we're going to try to get to that as best as we can. Now, before we begin, I do want to point out that this is my interpretation of a Captain America build. I'm sure there are plenty of other ideas out there, so if you'd like to share your version of this character, feel free to do so in the comments below. I tried to strike a balance between being true to Captain America, but also trying to make this build fun, viable, and interesting to play in the game, so I hope you all will enjoy. The three traits that I chose to focus on when building this character are the fact that he's super strong. He's got this incredible superhuman strength. There's no super ability innate with him. He's just got this super soldier serum that maximizes is the abilities of you know the human so he is the model of super strength for a human and also unarmed of course he's got unarmed combat he punches the hell out of people he uses his shield in order to bash people to death he throws it around unfortunately we don't have a shield that we can throw around we do have a shield that we can equip and use which is really cool i'm going to show it off in this video but unarmed is a huge focus for this build and also the fact that he's a hero he's incredibly heroic of course he's the first avenger and all that so that was a consideration as well when building this this character. Now taking a look at his special stats, we're going with 7 Strength, 2 Perception, 3 Endurance, 3 Charisma, 2 Intelligence, 9 Agility, and 3 Luck. And of course, this is a 30-point build that includes the 1 Perception bobblehead early in the game with Preston and the gang, and also the special book found in the Soul Survivor's house. Like I said, we can't give him 10s in every category, especially Strength, Endurance, Intelligence, and Agility. So I decided to focus on Strength and Agility with this build. I went higher Agility in the beginning to establish a certain play style that we're going to go after, and I'll explain that in a second. But we're also going to pump points into Strength within the first 10 levels. So don't worry about that if you're wondering why Strength isn't as high as it possibly can be. It will be within the first 10 levels. Moving on, our five signature perks for this character that we're going to focus on are Iron Fist, Rooted, Life Giver, Action Boy, and Blitz. We're going to take a look at those one by one in the perk chart right now. First, we have Iron Fist, and this one is obvious for Captain America. He's going to use his fists in combat a lot of the time, and also we're going to have a really special weapon you've already seen in the gameplay, the shield that you can get via a mod, so I'll show that off in a little bit. But Iron Fist benefits everything that you'd want from Captain America in terms of combat. So with each rank, you're going to get 20% more damage and some more different things here, disarming your opponent, unarmed, power attacks, having a chance to cripple, having an increased chance to cripple, and then, of course, paralyzing palm from pre previous Fallout games. Criticals and Vats will paralyze your opponent. That's way up at level 46, but, you know, Iron Fist is going to be a priority whenever, you know, the next rank unlocks. You want to immediately take it because that's where we're dealing all of our damage. Moving down on the strength tree to rooted way down here and again we didn't start at strength seven we have to work our way up to this and so the first rank of rooted is going to give you extra damage resistance and give you 25 percent more damage when you're standing still so that's the important thing once you get to your destination you got to stand still in order to get the benefits of this and then the final rank has automatic disarm when they're using melee weapons against you so that's really strong if you're fighting against other melee characters as captain america rooted is really essential for that. Next is Life Giver up here, and some people will disagree with me when I say Life Giver is still useful. It has been proven that Endurance, if you just keep pumping points into Endurance, that gives you more health and that's more, more useful over the long haul. But with Life Giver, I really like to take this to get to the last rank. At level 20, that's very early in the game, you slowly regenerate lost health. This will also give us some more survivability with our Captain America character since we're not really focusing on going strength and ninja and sneaking up on people, even though we may need to use it some time so life giver is also a focus for this build moving over to the agility tree we're looking at action boy this is something i recommend with almost every character you get more action point regeneration faster so or not more faster but just faster so you're going to get those points back when you're 
up close and you know using vats in order to battle with enemies you will need those action points to refund quickly so you can take them all down action boy is a no-brainer for this and then finally so is blitz blitz is so unbelievably unbelievably important for this build you're gonna have to you know charge in and attack enemies from a distance especially if they're ranged you know you're not going to be able to really stand up you're not going to have a fighting chance against ranged enemies if you can't close the gap so blitz is super important to take early we got that melee distance significantly increase and then rank two is even further and the further you are away the greater the damage with blitz just some extra perks to consider because obviously those signature perks aren't the only perks you're going to take first off is armor this is a no-brainer for me as well because you want to make sure you maximize that damage resistance since we are a melee character we're going to be taking a lot of damage so armor is a really important uh perk to take in my opinion you don't want to rank that up as quickly as possible another consideration is toughness i didn't take it here as you can tell in my level 30 version of this build i didn't take it at all but it's a consideration if you like toughness if you think that's useful you can go for it i don't personally recommend Recommend it but toughness is something some people will take and some people enjoy so I went ahead and added it here next is Lone Wanderer and you may be wondering hey Captain America he's rolled around with a few other people Black Widow Falcon you know Bucky for example so Lone Wanderer doesn't make a ton of sense but for me I just wanted to take Lone Wanderer because I wanted to see and experience you know this build on its own however you can take a companion with you it totally makes sense for the character I just took Lone Wanderer because it is so unbelievably strong I still think it's the best perk in the game and so if you want to take Lone Wanderer it's up to you guys just an extra perk consideration there Medic is something I would actually recommend as well. It was almost on my signature perks, but eh, you know, it's not signature to, you know, Steve Rogers and Captain America as a character, so I didn't add it. But being a melee character that's not focused on sneak is tough. It's tough even on regular difficulties. It does not even get started about survival mode. This build will be incredibly difficult in survival mode. So having that extra stim pack restore more health is really, really important. So uh, Medic is something I definitely recommend for you guys as well. Moving on, we've got Moving Target, something I would definitely also recommend with a non-stealth sneak-based melee character. Of course, this is going to give you extra resistance when you're sprinting, and you're going to be sprinting to close the gap, and you may even just be sprinting away if Blitz is not an option anymore and you're low health, you're out of action points. Well, I guess if you're out of action points, you can't sprint, but if you're trying to escape, Moving Target is also kind of a, you know, save your ass kind of uh, perk with this build, so definitely would also consider taking that. Bloody Mess. Bloody Mess is also something that I take with every single build. It gives you a little more damage, a little more, you know, across the board. That's why I really like Bloody Mess for almost all builds. So this is something I usually take and would recommend for you guys. And then finally, something I didn't mention at all is, you know, a gun-based perk. And for the most part, Captain America doesn't seem to favor guns, but he's not afraid of using them. Um, you know, especially in World War II, he used them a lot. So you can pick any number of these gun perks. I pick Gunslinger, as you can tell, just for a pistol. In case you're in a situation where you, you know, you've know, you got a ton of ghouls following you, you'll, you'll see some gameplay in this video where I've got a ton of ghouls on me. There's no way I was going to survive unless I pulled out a gun. So picking something like a sidearm for Gunslinger is a good idea. Maybe Commando if you're feeling that, or maybe Rifleman. I wouldn't pick Rifleman just because you might start focusing on your rifle. You don't want to do that with Captain America. So picking a gun perk is probably a good idea with this build as well. So with all those perks in mind, let's look at the perk roadmap, which is basically my term for the first 10 levels, which perks you're going to take at the beginning of the game to get your character started and establish a play style. So first off, we're going to take Iron Fist at level two. It just makes sense to start out with the damage dealing perk right there. So take that at level two. Next, Blitz. And again, this is the reason why we went so high with agility in the beginning to make sure that we got Blitz and establish the fact that you can sort of teleport forward a certain distance in order to close the gap with your enemies. It's going to be hard in the beginning of the game to deal a ton of damage with iron fist because you won't find a you know a power fist you won't be able to get to this shield which again i'm going to show off in a little bit so blitz is really important at level three next i would take life giver at level four some people would take endurance if you want to just go and put a point in endurance for health you can do that but i choose life giver again to get to that health regeneration at level 20 very quickly so life giver at level four at level five, I would take Action Boy again. That action point regeneration is really helpful early on because you need to be able to hit enemies as much as possible. Regenerating those AP points is important. At level six, I would go ahead and dump into strength training. Same with level seven in order to get up to rooted. So our goal is to get up to rooted because that's really helpful for a melee based build or unarmed based build in this case. So level six and seven, I would go strength training. 
Next with level eight, I would go life giver rank two. Again, that's a priority for me and my build. I have health regeneration. It's up to you guys. You could go endurance in that slot. Once again, if you were just going for straight health at level nine, I would go for rooted. Again, we put those strength training points in there to get to rooted. So it's important to get that as early as possible to round out our signature perks. And then finally, at level 10, I went ahead and took armor again, getting that extra damage resistance by adding mods to your armor is definitely important for a melee close range based character. So I'm sure you guys could already tell, but the established play style that I had in mind with this build with all of the perks is to use Blitz to charge in and just beat down your enemies, pummel them into submission like Captain America would with the shield and all. It's really a lot of fun. Also, there are certain situations where guns might be necessary, and fortunately, Cap doesn't have a problem with using guns, especially in World War II. So that would not be a problem with this build if you decided to take an extra gun perk to kind of supplement this build in cases where, indeed, you have to use a gun. It's just impossible to survive. Otherwise, then, of course, you can do that. Finally, I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to talk about it. The signature weapon for this build is a mod that I'm using called the Patriotic Shield. It's made by someone named Junari, and link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Unfortunately, all I see it right now is on Nexus mods, so you have to be on PC. And I know some of you console mod people are wondering, hey, you know, what about me? I don't know. Honestly, console mods are coming soon to Xbox One and PS4, but there's no guarantee that this will come with them, which is unfortunate. But it's a really fun weapon. Um, they kind of made a little, Junari made a little side quest in order to track it down, but I'll just show you where it is. It's in the Jamaica Town Hall basement in this little crate here. So you don't have to go on that wild goose chase in order to find it. Just download the mod link in the description below and you will have it. It's great. And what it does, it replaces Actually, I'm not sure if it replaces it, but it acts like a power fist. So if you punch it, a lot of the power fist animations will be there, but they work perfectly with the shield. I'm sure you guys have been noticing this entire video. It looks really good. It kind of clips through the armor, which is a little annoying. So if you want to take off the armor on the right arm in order to make it look better, that's probably a good idea as well. And like I said, as I'm recording this video, console mods are not yet out, but they're almost here. They're around the corner and you still may not be able to find this mod on there. And so if that's the case, the furious power fist is definitely a good alternative. If you you don't have an option there so if you want to go to swan's pond and kill swan that's where you get it a little tough to do early in the game you can do it around level 10 or 12 if you really try use some you know chems and whatnot but anyways that's kind of the alternative to this shield along with the shield we've also got the armor and that is another mod for our signature appearance it's captain america's armor by nuka man they did a really awesome retexture of the bos officer uniform it looks really cool that's perfect but for some reason i couldn't get the power armor not the power the combat armor to be blue that's what it's supposed to look like on screen also the vault tech security helmet is supposed to look just like cap's helmet with the star on it and everything unfortunately actually the a not the star but unfortunately it wasn't working for me maybe you guys can get it work to work i wasn't sure why it wasn't working but you do get the awesome bos uniform if you're not able to get the combat armor and other pieces to work very nice mod there and also i use the captain america safe someone made a very awesome steve rogers looking guy you saw him at the beginning of the video fantastic Sturk Master is the person who made that. And so links to both of those mods in the description below. Again, only on Nexus and PC for right now. Finally, the last portion of this guide is on companions. And Captain America does roll around with people quite frequently. He's got Bucky, of course, his sidekick. He's got Black Widow, sometimes Falcon. So he's got people along with him. If you decide to take Lone Wanderer, then you can ignore this portion. But if not, if you want to role play a little bit more and grab a companion or two that makes sense, I would recommend McCready if you're trying to simulate Bucky. I think that's a good choice right there. And if you really want to pretend, then Kate can kind of be your Black Widow. Literally, the only reason I recommended her is because of her hair color and that's really not a good reason so if you're really desperate and you want black widow hey kate is there for you and i'm sure you can find a skin tight latex suit for kate if that's your thing I'd like to hear from you guys. Is this a build that you're interested in? Something you're going to try out, you know, to get you hyped for Civil War? Maybe you've already watched it and you still want to make this build. Let me know what you think about it and also any kind of changes you would make. I do make a lot of these build guide videos I have in the past and a lot of people say, oh, I would have done this and this. I'd like to hear from you guys on your changes to this build if you would make any in the comment section below. All right, guys, today I shared my Steve Rogers Captain America Civil War build for Fallout 4. And next time we will cover more Fallout on my channel. So stay tuned for Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. If you learned something new or enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe for Far Harbor DLC, my survival mode playthrough, Bethesda.net mods, and general tips and tricks videos. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.